Welcome to module C lecture 1. In this module we shall talk about the trip generation. In today's lecture we will give you an introduction to trip generation and also identify various uh, basic aspects which are important in the context of trip generation. The analysis and model building phase in a four stage transportation planning process starts with trip generation that is the phase 1. We have already discussed uh, an overview of the four stage planning process and you know the stages are trip generation, trip distribution, mode choice and traffic assignment. But before we start this model building phase and start the trip generation modeling, several initial works are done before we enter into this stage. Say for example, we need to identify the study area, we need to divide the study area into suitable number of traffic zones, identify zone centroid, build the road network or develop the map of the road network connect the centroids to this road network, we identify various activities that are there in the uh, in different traffic zones, identified traffic zones. So, all these ground works or the I, I would say the base works are done before we actually enter into trip generation stage. In fact, as you know the urban activities or the distribution of activities in different zones are the basic inputs to the trip generation process. Now, it looks like this. So, we have identified the study area, we have uh, you know demarcated the, the, the boundary to do to say that that is within that uh, demarcated boundary or cordon line is our study area, uh, then divided them into suitable number of uh, smaller zones and then identified the zone centroids connected it to the base ne basic network. So, all these homeworks are ready. Now, we are talking about trip generation. So, the very first thing is to understand what is a trip, how we define a trip. A trip may be defined as a one way movement from an origin to a destination. Right? People move for different reasons, we stay in home but then we need to go to college. So, we travel to college, we need to go for uh, buying vegetables, so we go to market. right? So, every one way movement is called a trip. So, every movement has an origin, it starts from a point, it goes to a destination. Say for example, uh, if I am traveling from home to shop, then my starting point origin is home and my destination is shop. Now, what we are doing in trip generation as we said that inputs to the trip generation what, what is the basic input? Basic input is the activities in different zones. So, we can say that trip generation in this the, is the process by which we are trying to convert activities into number of trips because, because the activities the trips are happening. So, what is or what are the levels of activities and then correspondingly what are the uh, levels of trip generation. So, we can say that trip generation is a process by which we are converting activities into number of trips and the aim of trip generation is to understand and also quantify the relationship between what? Between urban activity that is the input and the present trip making that is the output. right? So, we want to understand and quantify this relationship. What level of urban activity means what level of expected trip generation and that is what why we are doing this because we want to predict the amount of travel in the forecast year. Say, 2021 we are doing the work. So, 2021 we know the activities in different zones, 
we know the present trip making also in different zone we try to understand and capture this relationship or quantify this relationship so that future we know what kind of activities are planned or what kind of activities are likely to happen in this zones so if the future activities are like that then using this relation we would like to uh, we would be able to say that what kind of travel or trip generation can happen in the forecast year. So, it is all for all this model building including the trip generation modeling is basically to, uh, to, to capture the relationship. So, that we are able to predict it in the forecast year or horizon year we also call it as horizon year. Then, since we say amount of travel, what we mean by amount of travel? Amount of travel means the number of trip ends. Every trip has got two ends, somewhere it is an origin, there is an origin, there is also a destination. So, we want to predict how many trip ends are going to happen, that is the amount amount of travel means how many trip ends. This is in the context of trip generation. So, every trip has an origin and has a destination. It starts from one place, it goes to another place. right? So, every trip is also produced somewhere and attracted somewhere. So, there cannot be any trip which is uh, there in that urban network which is produced, but not attracted that is impossible. right? Every trip which is produced must be getting attracted somewhere otherwise it is not a trip. Same way if we know that some trips are getting attracted it must be getting produced somewhere as well is not it. So, every trip has got a production point where it is getting produced and it is getting attracted also to some other point okay that is the point of attraction. So, when we say now origin and destination and production and attractions are they similar? They are some cases may be similar some cases they are different as well not that origin means always the point of productions or uh, destination means always the uh, points of attraction that may not be so that we shall or I shall explain you further as we move forward. I have discussed it also in the when I talked about the overview of urban transportation planning process, but again shall come back to this. The basic idea is if home is one end either origin or uh, destination, then the trip is always produced at home end and attracted at the other end. Do you remember I discussed this in the previous module. right? So, if there is any end either origin or destination, it may be origin, it may be destination, one end is home. So, if there is a home in one end, then the trip is always produced at home end and attracted to the other end. right? And if none of these ends include home, then trip is produced at the origin point, trip is getting attracted at the destination point that is as simple as that. So, because there are both trip gen productions and trip attractions. So, when we are talking about trip generation analysis, we also mean that trip production analysis and trip attraction analysis. So, both are to be understood clearly and we need to model both not just one. Now, trip production is applicable for trips generated by residential zones, where these trips may be origins or destinations. That is what I explained. If there is a home end, residential area is there. If there is a home end, then trip is always produced at the home end, irrespective of whether uh, that is origin or that is destination. Maybe from uh, if I origin destination is very relative because if 
somebody is going from home to office and you ask him where from you are coming, he will say I am coming from home, where you are going, he will say okay, I am going to office. right? But the same person, if you ask him in the afternoon when he is going back home from office, he will say where from you are coming, he will say okay, I am coming from office, where you are going, I am going back to, uh, I am going home. But that does not mean trip is produced in the office trip always gets attracted in the office. right? So, if there is a home end trip is always produced in home end because people stay there finally. right? So, that is what we said the trip production is applicable for trips which are generated by residential zones where these trips may be origin or may be also destination depending on you know at what time whether the person is leaving the home or coming back home when you are intercepting him depending on that the residential zones may be origin may be destination, but always the residential zone is the point of production. right? Then trip attraction is used to describe trip generated by activities at the non home end of the home base trip. So, if there is home base trips one end is home, so obviously trip is produced there. Then why trip gets attracted? Trip gets attracted to the other end, which is then the non home end of a home base trip. What kind of attraction it could be? It could be maybe employment, people are going to office, it may be retail service, it may be you know shopping, it may be recreational facility, anything is possible other than residential activities, right. If urban activity forecasts are accurate, once we have developed the model, right, and then if we can predict this urban activity for the future or for the horizon years accurately, and whatever relationships we are building now or capturing now in the base year, base year means the year when we are doing this model building exercise, and I have known activities, I have known trips and I am trying to build the relationship. So, my x is also known, my y is also known, my dependent variables are known, my independent variables are also known. So, I have built the relationship. So, if I can predict the uh, activities accurately for the future and the relationship what I have developed, if that relationship does not change, then prediction based on the recent risk relationships in the future will also be accurate. right? So, if I can forecast y, I forecast x my independent variable accurately and if that y as a function of x that relationship remains valid for the future also, then using this relationship whatever y I will predict will be accurate. Now, urban activity in the context of trip generation, in this context both amount of activities and character of activities both are equally important. What I mean by amount of activities and what I mean by character of activities that I am going to discuss now in my next slide. What is and why the amount of activity is important? Let us say that given everything else same, if there are you know 100 households in a zone and if there are 200 households in a zone, given everything else is same, okay, nothing else is changing, then where the you expect more trip production to happen? Obviously, where there are more households stay, staying in that zone. right? So, 200 households will make you know generate more trip than 100 households. right? So, the amount of urban activity is important. How many households? Number, number is important. How many households are there? Okay? So, if there are more households, more activities. It means more activities and it means also more trip production. So, that is what I have said here that relationships exist between the amount of urban activities and the travel. 
why as I explained I have mentioned it here the same thing all else being equal a zone with larger number of households will obviously generate more trips than a zone with smaller number. So, the number matters that means the amount of urban activity matters. So, and in fact, the amount of activity is a key element in trip generation. We must know what amount of activity that is uh, likely to generate or likely to be there in the future. Now, how we express the amount of activities? I tell number of households, yes, that is one. It could also be number of employees, number of retail sales in a zone. All these are actually used to express the amount of urban activity in an urban area. Now, as I said, the character is also important, not only the number or not only the amount why the character is important. If I tell you in the context of residential land use, now you know that you know households could be of different types. If you go to a typical urban area, there are uh, low income housing, there are medium income housing, med medium income group housings, right? similarly high income group housing. So, we know that LIG, MIG, HIG, all different types of housings are there. Right. Now, if I ask you that a same number say say 1000 families are there, okay? everything else is equal, right? everything else means all other except the you know size or the nature of house, right? but one area is basically LIG dominated housing and another area is HIG dominated dominated housing, where more trips will happen or will same number of trips will happen in both areas? The answer is simply no. So, you know that as income grows, right? so more higher the income, generally more travel will happen for various reasons, right? because the you know it is, it is found actually that recreational trips, social trips, shopping trips all this will be in more number once you go for high income housing. So, if I say the number of course, 100 if I say number compared to 100, 200 will be higher. So, the quantity or amount matters, but amount is not adequate, it is important amount is important, but also the character right that is what I say. In residential land uses, character is described in terms of socioeconomic variables like the family income, family size, car availability, all this. And just to give you an example, just to convince you, as I said, the same example is given here high income or large families make more trips than low income or small families, even the family size, right. So, everything else is same, but the family size, one place only husband wife live mostly maybe in, in those areas right and in another area you find more of the traditional you know uh, Indian family with parents with children and with you know all uncle aunt everybody all are staying together. So, obviously, the households where more people are uh, living right they, they make more trip. Okay, it may not be simply linear that per person multiply it you will get the trip that may not happen because not all types of trip will uh, you know be proportional. I mean if person two persons are staying, staying or even in traditional uh, Indian family if 10 people are living together, even if 10 people are together the uncle always goes to for shopping, shopping job is for uncle. Okay father will not go for the job, uncle will go to the job, go, go for the uh, shopping right? and uh, not like the present situation that if in the same house uh, you know three brothers are staying in three different flats, all three will go for shopping in the morning to get, get vegetables and other things from the market. So, the, the, the uh, some of the 
uh, trips uh, it depends what what type of what purpose we are talking about trip but generally you know larger family make more trip high income more trip uh, households with who have cars will make more trips higher number of cars will make more trips so you know the character is very very important in terms of non residential land use other than households the character reflects the type of activity say for what kind of activities is it industrial is it retail is it commercial now why i say why this nature is also again important because you will see generally say for example the number of trips generated by a shopping center is usually higher than the number of trips generated by a warehouse of the same size size is same but the number of trips attracted by a warehouse and by a shopping center will it be same it cannot be suppose a basic industry some basic industry is there right and you have uh, this typical uh, call centers okay so per unit area the the employee or area per employee is not same so if the area i talk about the same area my trip attraction is not going to because the kind of employment opportunity that is going to be generated per unit area will again not be same and if you go to a manufacturing industry lot of area for storage of material raw material finished product storage so lot of area but if you just compare it industry where people only need a place so that they can keep the computer and sit and with a printer and maybe scanner and all those the the per person area is very small okay so the nature is important both at trip generation perspective and also for uh, the trip attraction perspective so altogether we can say measure of amount of activity usually are not enough to develop a good relationship between travel and activities the character of the activities is important too so we need both the amount of activities and also need to consider the character of activity to develop a good model or to build a you know development of to develop the relationship in an appropriate manner now there are certain basic considerations uh, which are again also important one say one we said we discussed that is the character of urban activity uh, amount of urban activity before that and what else the next is transportation system all these things the urban transportation is not so simple the relationships are really complex but it's extremely interesting as well right and is one of the real problems the all of us we are facing and uh, you know lot of challenges are there right and lot of opportunities are there as well i would say so again the basic considerations one of the basic consideration is basically the transportation system because whenever we are talking about trip generations okay the level of service provided by the transportation systems also affect the trip generation rate people want to travel but how they will travel they will travel using the available transportation system so if the transportation system is good more travel will occur i mean this has got a different consequence as well right you build more roads you build uh, you know develop the transportation system that will boost the travel right it happens and of course because there is demand you need to provide or improve transport system and because you improve transport system it also influence the demand this is always a two way relationship so let's say an areas with excellent roads and high quality bus service are expected to generate more trips than areas with poor facilities normally what happens if the good transportation system is very good you just come out of home and then buses are av- available regularly straight away take you to the city center 
you know that will encourage people to travel more but if it becomes extremely difficult then people will not travel so easily they will accumulate all the work five works accumulated together then they will go right so but these transportation systems we normally do not use as a variable in the trip generation analysis why because then it will make the trip generation elastic to the characteristics of the transportation system the complexity will increase nothing else so we normally do not consider trip generation elastic to the transportation system not a function of we do not consider it as a function of transportation system but we consider rather you know the trip distribution mode choice traffic assignment all these are thing so the loops are coming back to transportation system going back to mode choice going back to distribution but normally we don't go back to the trip generation right but of course the impact of trip transportation system will be much higher on mode choice on route assignment on distribution trip distribution than the impact on the uh, you know the the trip generation now the location of activities is also important where the shopping center is located is it located in the cbd area where you know wider roads are there and lot of parking facilities and the whole ambient is different or it is located in the suburb where there are narrow streets is very difficult to you know go to move two cars side by side or two vehicles side by side eh? so the location of the activity also affects the trip generation so trip generation rates when you are borrowing from one location to another location you can borrow you can borrow there is no problem but please keep it in mind that the location of activities is also important whatever uh, trip generation is happening maybe in bigger cities like in bombay delhi or calcutta a small town if you are applying you cannot apply the same rate right it doesn't happen in that way even within a big cities also the major cvd area with better infrastructure facilities and everything and if you go to the down you know go to the suburb area it may not happen in the same way so the trip generation rates for retail activities in the downtown area are expected to be much different from similar activities in other shopping location so trip generation relationship that they are for often developed with location of activities as a consideration where they are located then this is again interesting consideration special generators what are special generators these are some activities which are of unusual nature not everywhere every time every study will encounter this right so the number wise they may not be very high there are some special activities of unusual nature which warrant special consideration in trip generation analysis for example the normal land use or activities trained will not indicate if you are trying to develop any airport in that area that is a very much special generator if you are trying to build a new hospital right the normal activity forecast will not include such kind of you know generators or maybe military base or large regional shopping complex or developing maybe a stadium right and it's it's a very very different attraction if there is a india pakistan match in in a stadium the kind of trips what are uh, expected the kind of trips what will happen the whole thing it's a, it's a different event altogether right so similarly if you have really you are building a airport we are building an airport that's again a completely different thing so the special generators are relatively few in number in any urban area may not be really large in number not in every uh, project or every uh, city you will find that but may represent a significant portion of the trips and therefore justify separate treatments so normal forecast normal growth rate we are applying Uh, for activity forecast they may not include all such kind of special generator so you have to keep it in mind if there is a special generator like this you must consider it separately and 
you know add it to the normal growth or normal you know uh, based routine uh, activity forecast and based on that whatever trips will happen. So, you have to add it separately consider it separately and we call it as special generator. So, if I have to conclude this lecture I would say we discussed about what is strip generation it is basically translating activities into number of trips and in that process process how we are translating in the base year we are translating. So, we have known activities known trip making. So, we are building the relation trying to understand the relationship and that relationship we are applying in the future and with inputs what input input as the urban activity forecast. So, if my forecast is urban activity forecast is accurate realistic I would say realistic rather than accurate okay? because forecast is always you know with subject to certain error that will happen bound to happen okay? both in independent variable dependent variable everywhere there will be some error you cannot avoid completely. So, if my relationship is fine and if my activity forecasts are fine and if the relationships are also valid for the future then I would be able to forecast the trips that are going to come up in the future or in the horizon year. Then we discussed about basic considerations we said that amount of activity is important, but also the character of activity both in the sense of residential land use and other types of land uses or non residential land uses. Then we say that the transportation system is important because transportation system influence the trip generation, but I said that normally we do not consider trip generation as a function of transportation system. I say just more we consider the impact of transportation system on distribution on mode choice on traffic assignment, but we do not uh, you know link the transportation system influence on trip generation, but actually that influence is there very much there. Okay. Maybe because of simplicity we do not consider and because of the impact of transportation system will be even much more on distribution on mode choice and on assignment. And then we said the location of urban activity is also important where it is located. So, geographically you are transferring the trip rates right one has to be very careful with that and as I said there are certain special generators like stadium. Uh, hospital, large scale community centers and all those kinds of special generators which may not be airports which may not be large in number and may not you may not encounter such kind of generators in every project, but you have to be careful if there are special generators like this they need separate consideration because normal activity forecast will not include such special generator. Okay. Thank you so much.